Honourable Minister, please do not laugh. This is not the time to mock. This is not the time to mock. I'm talking very serious matters. Please take note of whatever I'm saying and reply to them. Uba ay jam siyang piliang ang mali ko all India Tunumal Congress na mawas na ramkat baw ng panyari ang kamat yatay halo ka jingbambiang kiying school ka panyari ka puli ka puti ka jala ka bawa lawan ra ha ka siig bahan riyo ka dorba sanra jong ka ying dorba tawain ka jala leng ba ka call attention ula berten yo menteri badaik mi ya kenar puli ka suar ka jala uba lak men remboi da ka bakendo bau tayo menteri ula le remboi ngkat badang ya keren ya kamat badan kame uba siyang piliang ula kentu yo menteri bau umday ban rakye bat ban rap bakam day ka puar ban le iben bat bau day ban sim ye kima Ikran jong kan ikat jengatai pat jubah iki. Unyu nong thau ayam laban rap bak jing bumbang kino hikai bat kijing school kawan ra ikat jing pep school siteng pol kena. Haba jubah iya kan ikat mat jengatai bak remboi ulo ong bak sor kar kas ngutu bah bak school hi kadi ikat jing kaba ar jong kikena school nrei wan penbiang ya parok kijunon kam kalong kaba e namar kat jing dunah pisa. Kam hadir menteri ulo itu bak sor kar kai le wan penbah iki school bat house nem ar jahat nyu kat pra lamang nak bentas sans pak prau sautuli house nem ar jahat pra kat kendai nrei uspa Sipoutli Arja Kandai Arja Arpo Nriuspa Sopupra Bat Kmilinti Bahaus Nam Arja Arpo Arja Arpoe Bakan Palat Nyuspa Atli Honorable Chairman I would like to thank the Chair for allowing me to bring the calling attention notice under Rule 54 Clause 1 of the Rules of Procedure and the Conduct of Business which appeared in the newspaper Shillong Times dated 22nd July 2022, under the caption, Rumboi blames poor school infrastructure for state's low ranking. Honorable Chairman, Meghalaya has been ranked the lowest in the PIE index in primary and secondary education for the second time in a row. This is the second year that Meghalaya has been ranked the lowest among all the states. And the parameters under which this ranking has been done are basically on the performance on the infrastructure and the equity. So the Minister of Education said that the MDA government wanted to improve the education in the state on three pillars. The first pillar is the quality teachers, second is the trained teachers, and the third pillar is a proper infrastructure. Now, Honorable Chairman, I'd like to give you a picture of the condition of education in the state. So the annual school dropout rate in the state, I will go district-wise, only on those which are worse. Sir. So Southwest Garo Hills tops the list with 44.86, both boys and girls. Then comes the South Garo Hills with 37.14. Then we have the North Garo Hills with 34.09. And then we have the Southwest Kasi Hills with 30.86. So this dropout rate is so alarming. Now there are many factors that can be attributed to the status of the dropouts. Why are we having so many school dropouts? I will give you another example of the schools which do not have teachers. Now there are teachers the schools that do not have teachers which are lying vacant, sir. So in the government level, at the LP, at the UP, at the secondary, at the high secondary, there are 920 teachers that are lying vacant, sir. 
At the deficit level, sir, at the LP, UP, secondary level, 246. And at the SSA level, that is the LP and the UP, it is 171. That is 100, 1,337, sir. So now, <clears throat> when we talk of infrastructures, so the school buildings all over the state need repairs and new constructions. We understand that the state government had declared that there will be 1,000 schools that will become, will be repaired. Now whether 1,000 schools are already under repair or not, we are not aware, sir. And what, from what we understand, from the replies of the Honorable Minister and the House, that none of the schools have started repairs. Meaning, the 1,000 school declaration for repairs is just an announcement only. No money has been earmarked to repair the schools. Furthermore, sir, the diet centers that we have all around the state, sir, are filled with students who want to take up DLE classes. Now, the seats are very limited. I would implore upon the government that more diet centers be set up so that there are more people who would like to take the teaching profession <clears throat> and considering the fact that MTET exam requires a candidate who is a DLED degree holder and therefore sir I request that the government should open more seats to be made available for our youths to take up DLF classes in the diet centers. So I'd like to just remind the Honorable Minister that on the 7th of December 2021, I had written a DO letter wherein I had already indicated that there are schools in the Mohsen Ram constituency which requires immediate repairs. I have a copy of that letter here, sir. And along with the letter, I had also given pictures of the schools which are in dilapidated condition. Sir, these schools do not have roofs. These schools in my area do not have furniture, do not have benches. These schools are like cow sheds. Sir. When it rains, the teacher has to abandon the classes and they have to open their umbrellas inside the classroom. Are we looking at this kind of a situation in this 21st century? Are we giving this kind of education to the children in the rural areas? What does the new education policy say? The new education policy has to be followed in letter and spirit. It is sad to see the condition of our schools. Yet, we hear the Chief Minister announcing rupees 2,000 crores for the education sector. Where is the 2,000 crores? So there are no water supplies. There is no toilets in most of the school buildings in the rural areas. Sir. In the absence of water supply, I'll be I am shocked to tell you today that the midday meal workers, they have to carry water from the streams and the ponds to cook 
for our students in the rural areas. I thought under the JJM, it is mandated that all schools and Anganwadi buildings should be provided with water and toilets. I want the government to look into this matter very seriously and investigate as to why schools do not have water supplies. I know the minister will answer that there are water supplies. I would like to take him to my area and show it personally. Please do not deny the fact when we bring things on the floor of the house. This kind of prevailing conditions. How can the children come to school? That is why we have dropouts. How can the teachers go to the classroom? Most of the teachers are staying in Shillong. I'll give you another example. I'm a member of the Public Accounts Committee. We received a complaint from the Garo Students' Union stating that the condition of construction of the Rongjeng Community College is pathetic. The chairman of the PAC fixed an inspection tour of the Rongjeng College. We all went. Believe it or not, Mr. Chairman, sir, the work was so shoddy that over just one push of my finger, the tiles of the bathroom fell off. That kind of condition, the construction was. What kind of example are we giving to the youths, to the students? It was the students who showed us, sir, please come and see this wall. Just push with your finger and you'll see what will happen. I did push and the tiles started tumbling one after another. The chairman is here of the PAC. He is a witness to it, sir. So, sir, this newspaper, which carries the picture of the Honorable Minister, he admits that it is a poor school infrastructure. Because of the poor school infrastructure, there is the state's low ranking. So, if the minister admits, what is the government doing? Sir, the Pine Mount School. Pine Mount School in Shillong is one of the premier institutions of the state, sir. It has produced so many hundreds and hundreds of students throughout the years throughout. Suddenly we see the teachers and the, and the students are in the streets with placards. When we find out the reason, they say we do not have toilets. We do not have proper bathrooms. We do not have proper uh, education facilities. Now, who's responsible for that now? How can we allow this to happen, sir? If such premier institutions are subjected to this kind of treatment by the government, then we do not know what is going to happen. Mismanagement of the Pine Mount School by the principal. Why isn't inquiry being instituted immediately and the principal should be removed for the time being so that there is an independent and free and fair inquiry conducted? Then we talk of Eklavia. Three years back, we heard Honorable Chief Minister and the government saying we have brought about 25 to 26 schools. Where are the schools? Where are the schools? All the BDOs have been asked to locate land everywhere. 15 acres of land have been located. We don't see one school coming up anywhere in the, in the East Cass Hills. At least in my area also one land has been located. 15 acres, the, the villagers have given free of course. Now they're asking me, sir, what do we do with this land? Are you taking it? because we need the land. Now, how long will the people give the land? So therefore, sir, these are issues which are realities. 
I want the government to answer to the people of the state. If they don't want to answer to me, answer to the people. You have gone and declared that we're going to bring a Klavia schools. Where are the schools? <clears throat> what is the status of the residential schools? The previous government had brought up residential schools everywhere. All the schools, all those half-constructed buildings are lying. Just like that. We did hear in the budget speech of the Honorable Chief Minister that residential schools that were left by the previous government will be taken up and we'll try to complete the residential schools. But till now, nothing. Sir, absence of teachers from schools is a major concern. Teachers do not go, sir. Do not go regularly, particularly in the rural areas, sir. An instance of one LP school, an instance of a government LP school, sir, in Garo Hills, which came out in the Shillong Times. The school's name, a government LP school at Jalwa Gray Songatal, which is 20 kilometers from Songsak. Can you imagine for three years? This teacher never went to the school for three years. Sir. This teacher never went to the school. It came out in the Shillong Times. I'm not just saying out of that. Is this the state of affairs we're looking at? We are in the 21st century and if a teacher is not going to school for three years, what is the fate of the children in that school? What action has the government taken on this teacher? If I ask, they'll say inquiry being conducted. Why inquiry? Suspend him, terminate him immediately. He should be terminated. For three years, if he has drawing salary, Honorable Minister, please do not laugh. This is not the time to mock. This is not the time to mock. I'm talking very serious matters. Please take note of whatever I'm saying and reply to them. This is not the way that you behave in the house by mocking and laughing when I'm talking something very serious. And when three years you don't have a teacher going to the school, what will happen to the fate of those children? All those children must have gone home. All those children must have gone attending to the cows, grazing the cows. And that is why we have dropouts. <clears throat> so the amazing thing is, the parents of that village and the villagers, they all went to complain to the district education officer. No action taken. No action taken. They went and complained to the deputy commissioner. Action is awaited. That is what I got the report. Even to the deputy commissioner when they have gone, they say, action awaited. So yesterday during the question hour, the Honorable Education Minister says, 36 schools do not have teachers. 36 schools. And can you believe, sir? Out of these 36 schools, 16 schools are in the South Garo Hills, sir. South Garo Hills. That's why the dropout rate in South Garo Hills is so high. So, all I can say is that the education sector is in a mess. A total mess. I want the government to come out with a blueprint. I want the government to tell the people of the state how they want to administer and bring order in this department so that the teachers get encouraged, teachers do not get their salaries, they have to come to the streets, deficit teachers do not get their pension benefits. There are so many things which we do not, I do not want to bring that because I have already brought that matter earlier. 
So therefore, all this compound to the problems faced by the teachers and by the students. And therefore, sir, I, before I resume my seat, I want the government should seriously ponder into this matter and put things in order and provide a sound educational system in the state. Thank you, sir. Mr. Chairman, sir, I would like to thank Sri Himalaya M. Shangpliang, MLA, and, uh, who have brought this call, calling attention motion according to the rule and conduct of business, rule number 54.1, under the caption, Rumboi blames the poor infra school infrastructure for the state's low ranking, published in the Shillong Times, dated July 22, uh, 2022. Mr. Chairman, sir, I would like to clarify my statement in the context that education is a third part to attain progress and development in all spheres of life. Keeping this in mind, it is vital to strategize education infrastructure in such a manner to maximize delivery towards accessibility and effectiveness of education. It is an obvious situation that when your environment is good, you get energy and enhance your interest to learn and perform better. Sir, so, it is the responsibility of the state government and the school management to create an environment that assures learning and pays special attention to the mental and physical well-being of the student. A healthy learning atmosphere is paramount for acquisition of knowledge and skills to grow as a responsible individual. Hence, we as parents are always learning towards sending our children to the best school. Many studies and research reports highlight the fact that if schools provide healthier and faster to students, the dropout rate uh, are much lower and children's motivation towards achievement increase. That, sir, we understand that a school is a second home for students. They spend a lot of their time daily in schools. Hence, it is crucial that they should be able to always experience a comfortable and positive environment. Creating a motivating and <coughs> comfortable atmosphere will strengthen the students' desire to attend schools every day and thus complete their academic cycle better. That, sir, it is also a fact that proper infrastructure also motivates teachers, apart from creating the right environment for students, the availability of natural lightning and proper ventilation ensure good comfort for teachers to impart knowledge and access each student separately. One of the main reasons a challenge that a school face to incorporate all necessary facilities is financial constraint. Proper infrastructure development can be expensive and school management might not have sufficient budget for the same. <clears throat> so I may apprise this Akas House that the state PGI score in learning outcome and quality is admittedly low for several reasons and the state needs to work on providing innovative intervention to improve the learning outcome of the student. There is no ready-made or short-term solution. The State Education Department, with active participation of the government, of both the central and the state requires to undertake a long-term solution and needs to begin from the provision of quality and safe infrastructure. I may also bring to the knowledge of the House that under the PGI score, the infrastructure and facilities include classroom, ICT, smart class, library reading corner, functional toilet, safe drinking water supply, electrification, vocational lab, workshop, midday meal, integrated science lab, distribution of uniform and free textbook, extra besides the functional school building. The state has shown a remarkable improvement in indicator, indicators mentioned above. However, 
the state needs to fix, uh, focus on the adjusted net enrollment rate, ANER, at the secondary level, retention rate at the elementary level, elementary and secondary level, and take steps to identify out of school children and mainstream, mainstreaming them. In quality equity outcome, the state has shown an overall improvement on this concept, under this, except CWSN indicators where the state required to improve immensely. Whereas the state faced a challenge in governance process, thereby the state needs to focus on the percentage of teachers whose unique ID is seeded in any electronic database of the state government administration. Percentage of upper primary school meet, meeting norms of subject to teachers as per TE. The number of teachers transferred through transference online system as the percentage of total number of teachers transferred and percentage of state budget share spent on school education to the total state budget. With regard to digital infrastructure, the, Go the Department of Education, Government of Maclea, has implemented the comprehensive teachers information management system for all teachers working at various schools and colleges across the state. The department have all data pertaining to teachers, schools and colleges in digital form as a database which would be used to generate to generate various MIS reports. Honorable Minister, please take a seat. Today is Friday and it's 12 noon. Since we have a lot of business for the day, I will, on the Rule 11 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business of this August House, I will extend the House till all the business listed for today are being disposed of. You may continue, please. But however, I will regulate the time for the other business for the day. The teacher's information management system is conceptualized and developed to address many PGI indicators such as transparency of recruitment, posting, transfer of teacher attendance, promotion, efficiency bar, increment, and salary transfer. That, sir, in order to augment the digital infrastructure in the state, the state shall implement the media. Samiksha Kendra, or the Command and Control Center, which is a learning management and tracking system. That will focus on improving learning outcome and learning levels of students through robust system of online assignment, project, regular assessment of student performance, that is formative competency based and test higher order skills, such as critical thinking and conceptual Clarity. This will be executed in the learning management tracking system through a central, a central monitoring system or component which will work, which also track the student progress throughout the school years in order to promote their continuous learning and development. This is an important initiative towards transforming assessment in line with the goal of NEP 2020. That's a uh, when we talk about the improvement of education, let me read PGI score. 2017-18, 584. 2018-19, 610. 2019-20, 648. And I am sure that 2020-21, we will cross 700. Improvement is there, sir. In every an uh, index of education system. You have seen that from 584, we have reached 448 in a matter of three years. And as I said, I'm sure that in 2020-21, as and when they release, we will surely cross the 700 score. This will not happen without the intervention of the government. As I said, I am very uh, open I admit there is need to be done. That's why from the day one, sir, I told that infrastructure. And now, if we didn't take this step, who will take? Why no other government in the past take this step? Let me inform the honorable member that we have construction is going on in 191 school, new, uh, new building. And in three 
UP school without LP, and in three UP school without uh, with LP school, in four in four without LP section, and in three with LP section, and we have construction government boys high secondary school Jui one, North Lang government secondary school one, Reservoir Para government high secondary school North Carolina one. Government Boys Higher Secondary School, Tura West Carroll Hills 1, Sipsing Memorial, Government Secondary School, Nongstoy, West Carroll Hills 1, uh, Dalu Government Higher Secondary School, Rambai Government Higher uh, Secondary School, East Giant Hills, Sokha Government Higher Secondary School, West Giant Hills, Tirasing Memorial, Government Higher Secondary School, Higher Secondary School Shela Bholakanj, East Carroll Hills, United Karkota Higher Secondary School, North Carroll Hills, and besides that, sir, just the other day, we told that the second phase, more than 100 schools will be taken up, and more than about 1,000 schools will be renovated. Why no government do this? But we are, we have complete what we are. Uh, we have identified that's why we are able to sanction this and do this and not only that sir not only that uh, the honorable from mouse Bram tell me that it is just a lip service sir we made it that's why i told that within 100 days more than 100 school will be renovated because we are we have the will to do, we know that to improve the education system, we need the proper infrastructure. As he rightly mentioned, he himself understand the problem that when there is no roof, how the teachers will go? How the children will go? That's why we have identified this is the crux of the problem. That's why we are investing in all this school. And I assure you, sir, that within this, uh, this common will able to sanction construction and renovation of school not less than 80 percent of the school of the common school in the state so sir because we uh, know that we have to do so that's why we are doing all these things sir not only that sir uh, in 2018 we have constructed more than 100 Numbers of classroom at the rate of 8.20 lakh, uh, 8 lakh, amounting to 12 through 30 lakh, which already completed, sir. Again, 2018, 100 numbers of additional classroom at the rate of 5.5 lakh. We are construct, we have complete construction, and as I said, 110 school additional classroom all over the state we have complete. Besides. That 208 school we have, I have just read, read, sir, which construction is going on, which I will inform the House that on the 26th or 27th of this month, the Honorable Chief Minister virtually will uh, inaugurate 50 school which already complete all over the state. We are not here to just to make speak. We are here to action on the ground. That's why in Mausunram block, Mausun Ramblok, Pam Sangut, we have uh, new construction is going on. And Nongwa Government at Peace School is going on in, in uh, Mausun Ramblok. And in Mausun Ramblok, Lalpani, 14 lakh we have constructed. In Mausun Ramblok, uh, Plang Banroy Government at Peace School, we have constructed a rate of, of 8.2 lakh. It is not that we are not doing, sir. We do. And that's why I told that we are going to do more. That's why I, we come up with this mission that in the second phase, more than 110 schools we will construct, which next month, I'm sure that we will be able to call the tender for this. And that more than 1,000 schools, which we are uh, doing to renovate, which we have uh, we set a target that by January. We know by January election code of conduct will come. But we didn't 
We didn't talk about election. We thought about delivery to the public. That's why election, whether it come or not, we will finish what we have the task to do. Sir, regarding the DLF seat, we, uh, seats in the state, sir, as you know, that the government of India have changed the policy that by 2030, by 2030, all the teach, uh, teachers should have a four year in uh, B. Ed. four year integrated course. So, sir, now we are moving to how to make the B. Ed. college functional, which is lying for four years. We have tried our best to and fro, and so many times the NCTE changed. The change the, the rules and regulation we have already applied, thrice we have applied, and we have sent all the data. So we hope that to solve the problem of the of the state uh, of the student community, so that they will get a, a facility in the state how to start the four years integrated course in Kyangdongba Government College, sir. Regarding the water supply uh, to the school, sir, the Swatch Bharat Mission through PHE. They are doing in, uh, in every nook and corner of the state. I don't know. In Mao Syndrome, I have, I don't know about the fact. I will have to search the fact. And uh, JJM also is mandated to have the, uh, to keep the water supply to all the school. And regarding the Eclavia model residential school, sir, I have already stated that in, uh, in uh, Paham, Ribhoi, about 90% is completed. And in Samanda, is about 70% have been completed, and other sanction is awaited. It's not that we are just speaking; we get, we are doing on the ground. The honourable member, as the member of PAC, he can see, he can go and see whether those construction of Eclair Model School is happening or not. Verify. I'm not here to to bluff the people. This is a cause house where whatever I speak, I have to speak the facts, sir. So that's why I tell that for others, like. Uh, the uh, sanction is awaited from the government of India. And regarding the issue of Paimon School, sir, as soon as the Paimon issue have brought to notice of the government, the director of school education have sent, have been and inquired and sent a report to the government. And the schools also, the teachers also have met me in my residence. As soon as they met, on the 1st of, sep of September 2022, we have issued the committee headed by uh, our hub IS Secretary of Education with the member include the Joint Director of uh, MBOS, Additional Director of Higher Education, Higher and Technical Education, and DSEO of, uh, of East Coast Hills to look into how, what is the thing to be done. And it's very easy to say that you suspend, you do now, sir, we have to learn, we have to see, uh, what, uh, to give chance to the people to explain whatever needs to be done. We are not here to shy away from our responsibility to take action, but proper pr procedure have to be to be looked into because we have to see that whatever action of the government it is open to scrutiny of the legal scrutiny. So whatever we do, we will do according to the law. We will not act in haste or act where uh, when the people approach, uh, which will become may become illegal. So we, I assure the honourable member of the house that uh, we will take necessary step that Panama School should be improved as much as possible. So, sir, uh, as I said, so the government is a life situation that we have to improve the education system. You have seen so many interventions of the government, which we did. And to, to have the accessibility, you have seen that in the 2020, when we learned about this pandemic happened, we have a tie up with the different channel to give a lesson to the, to the students so they will not miss. But having said that, as I said, from day one, from day one, 2018, education, we have a we, there is a challenge, but we are willing to take up the challenge. This, all this information which are giving all the work on the ground is that we are, uh, we are taking up the challenge and we know that we can solve this challenge together. With this word, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Honourable Speaker, sir, I'd like to thank uh, the Honourable Minister of Education for giving a very elaborate uh, reply to all the issues that I have raised. Uh, the only thing I have to say is uh, uh, relating to all the discrepancies that we have raised. Uh, matters are very serious and uh, I'm happy that the Minister has taken 
note of uh, all the issues that we have raised and uh, looking forward uh, for better delivery uh, of uh, the department uh, for the welfare of the people. Thank you, sir.